cash me at Oxford. How about that? Yeah, no, that's a that's a real thing, I guess. I don't know, man. What 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 timeline are we on right now? Because right now, um, Bad Baby or Danielle Brajoli, the fucking cash me outside girl. Okay, <sighs> she's gonna be speaking at Oxford. Okay, like that's it's it's a pretty distinguished place. You might have heard of Oxford University. Now this is not Oxford and Delaware or the fucking Romania or this is Oxford, Oxford, like Oxford University, like the most prestigious university on earth. And she's gonna be speaking there, but actually, you know what? Uh, she kind of deserves it. Let me explain. First, we'll get through all of the different theatrics. And if you don't know who she is, you probably knew who she was. And I think I might have talked about her as well because she was the fastest earner to get to a million dollars on OnlyFans. But then also did a rug pull at the same time and wasn't showing her butthole or anything like that. So I kind of respect her for also finessing the game. There's a lot of lessons to be learned right here. And it's... It's so weird that we're getting it from like a 19 or 20. I, I, oh boy, I got to sing the praises of this bitch. All right. I'm following in Einstein's footsteps. You sure are, honey. You sure are with your stupid fucking neck tattoos. Bad baby. Her name's Danielle. I'm just going to call her Danielle because that's less offensive. Has already proven she's all about her business. And now she's been invited to drop some wisdom at Oxford University. Yes, the Oxford University. Bad baby, aka Danielle Bri Brijoli, Bri some fucking guinea name, has been invited to speak to students at Oxford Union, arguably the most prestigious debating society on planet Earth. I'd play you some of her speaking content, but I I respect everybody's brain cells and their IQ points. I don't want you to drop any. I want you to flourish. I want you to prosper. I want you to learn everything that you possibly can. Okay, if she's doing this speech, hopefully it's scripted. Okay, it's not improv. Does she also picks up a different dialect to be speaking in? Because again, she's she's a rapper on top of an OnlyFans thought girl, girl model, the, the role model for society. I'm only half joking about that. But there's nothing more of a turnoff. Like you see an attractive woman, okay, and then she immediately starts either talking like a valley idiot with her upward inflections at the end. Like, that's annoying. But ratchet ass bitches, that is the fucking worst. I cannot tolerate that at all whatsoever. And even in northern Alberta, okay, in one of the whitest places on fucking earth, because again, the snow's all over the ground for like six to eight months out of the year. So it's technically and physically demographically white. Just throwing that out there. You see this shit every once in a while. So that's just terrible. But why the fuck would you ruin everything like that? So check this out. Oh shit. BB will follow in the footsteps of some pretty important people who have stood at that podium, including presidents, uh, the actual presidents, Ronald Re Yes, I, I, I was debating up there. Yes, with, with senility and uh, well, uh, I didn't lose. I uh, had to retire. Yes. I don't do a Nixon, but Carter, if, if you want to know what Carter's speech sound like, just look at what Joe Biden's doing. He'll get proper clarification on that. And Clinton, yeah. Bill, never Hillary. Aha. Uh -huh. Queen Elizabeth II, the Dalai Lama, Mother Teresa, Malcolm X, Albert Einstein, Sir Elton John, Shakira, Billy Joel, uh, Michaela Peterson, who again, they, you know, bad, bad baby, Danielle Brajoli and her share a, a lot of similarities. Uh, Jordan Peterson as well, a bunch of other distinguished thinkers and thought leaders in the world. And well, I guess I got another thought leader out there, different spelling. Uh, the Oxford Unity, or uni, the Union president said that. In the invite to BB, it would be an honor to welcome you to continue this fine tradition. Yes, and cash her on stage. How about that? As you know, uh, Danielle rose to fame going viral on Dr. Phil. Fuck, that was a long time ago. Uh, episode about troubled teens. She's of age 13 years old at the time. My time flies when you just start. She keeps herself relevant. I guess th that's one thing she's got going for her. Since then, she's d d done a complete 180, uh, turning her dubious fame into a fortune with a rap career, brand deals, and very successful OnlyFans career. Uh, 50 million fucking dollars. Yeah, and she's actually got the receipts on that. So, uh, why is she going to Oxford? Okay, and again, she got all of those na ratchet dialect, knacker tattoos, dyed hair. 
Red flags aplenty. And also miles of black dick run through her. Bad Baby wants her haters to take a good look at her receipts, offering up alleged proof she made tens of million dollars on OnlyFans. <sighs> okay, again, like if we take all, if we take her out of this and we uh, just assess her business acumen in a vacuum, I appreciate it quite a bit. She made $50 million. Like she doesn't even have the high school diploma, the, let alone going to university, college, trade school, anything like that. She has, she has nothing. Okay. But she's a successful actress and she's monetizing her body without having to shove stick or show really anything. Like, I don't know, maybe that's changed. Okay. Like maybe everybody's just uh, the, all the simps. Let's keep it honest. Okay. Let's keep it a buck. All the, the five, three, 300 pound fucking basement dwelling black pillars that just like to hate on red pill chads all day long. Like this, just fuck off and prove your lot in life. You stop being such a black pill doomer. The black pills are a fucking suppository for a reason. Oh, I'm MGTOW. I'm going my own way. No, bitch, you were sent your own way. Stop it with all that fucking nonsense. But here's the skinny. Only fans are propped up by lonely guys. Lonely guys in shitty situations, okay? Case in point, 1920. Like, I don't even know how, she, how old she is. I don't think she's 20 yet because, again, she opened up her OnlyFans account on her 18th birthday. From what I can recall from a year ago. So, yeah, she's 19 yet or something like that. Maybe. I don't know. But this is over the course of her time on OnlyFans. And it only took her less than 48 hours. It might have taken her less than 24 hours to amass a million dollars. Okay. And then, obviously, profits slowed a little bit. But she made just about $50 million. $42 million. $42.3 between April Falls 2021 and April 25th, 2022. So yeah, no, it's definitely blown past that $50 million right now for show, for having to show very little. Fast forward to Monday uh, when Danielle shared a screen grab allegedly showing her earnings page. The caption, go cry about it, bitch. I appreciate the demeanor as well. It's like, I got 50, <laughs> I got $50 million, get fucked, go cry about it elsewhere. And hey man, if I was a woman with everything that I know, I'd be shutting down the game right now. It wouldn't look too dissimilar than her business plan right now, okay? If I didn't have to do anything inherently sexual, if I could just get away showing feet pics, maybe just the slightest hint of a nipple, and people would be giving me fucking eight digits over the course of a year. Oh, yeah, that's the dream right there. Now, that's not the reason she's been invited to speak at Oxford. She actually has a good reason for going there, and I'm, I'm being 1,000% serious. She's launching, launching a scholarship fund. Now, a lot of actors have done that, okay? And they've done it for, like, specific demographics of people in order to get a leg up in university. It's like there isn't enough fucking scholarships and funds and grants out there for them. But if you read through the rest of this, launching a scholarship fund for trade schools? Like, why has the Cash Me Outside girl become a decent role model for society? Like, what is going... Uh, man... Some fucking whack shit went on when they powered up that Large Hadron Collider. I swear to God. Danielle Brajoli is the first known to the world for her viral appearance on Dr. Phil's show in 2016. That's when all this shit went downhill, huh? That was a fun four years, but now we're here. Since then, however, she has taken her internet fame and used it as a launch pad for a successful music and business career. Which is so wild. Like, okay, again... I, I don't remember the entire story in full, but she came from a pretty rich, pretty successful family, but she was just acting a fool at 14 years old, like many a 14-year-old does, okay? And everybody was worried, oh my God, she's just going to be flying off the rails, she's just going to turn 18, she's just going to get knocked up, she's just going to do a whole bunch of drugs, but so far, so good, I guess, and even better than that, okay? She's parlaying her looks in the short term for long-term success. Like, this is what every young, attractive girl should be doing. Because, again, I'll just take my biases out of this, okay? The whole fucking baby curl shit and the knacker tattoos, not my thing, okay? But you take all of that stuff out, she's fucking attractive, okay? You take all of that stuff off, though. How many other instances of it's the exact same situations, okay? Women deciding to take the bag, okay? Taking all of the quick money in order to just end up paying on the back end. All of those long-term fucking problems. 
because it's never ever going to be as simple as oh there's a whole bunch of money out there and all they need to do is just show off my butthole every once in a while sweet i'll just go ahead and take this and then just end up writing the different screeds that are out there because who's out there right now peddling oh i think i've seen something about Charlize theron saying yeah i trained or, i traded my dignity for success sucks to suck you old bitch but at least her right now and again i, I have no idea what's on her fucking only fans account okay but if she's smart and it sure as fuck seems like that she shouldn't be doing anything sexual bikini pics foot pics whatever the fuck you want pics as long as nothing's going in anywhere and you don't have to show off anything god bless god fucking bless Rajoli's non-traditional pathway to financial security and success on her own terms has inspired her to help others forge her own path, which is why she has partnered with Edu Capital Foundation. Okay, like, like these are business moves that nobody else is out here making. Okay, like I'm saying this with 1,000% sincerity. This is a wise, well beyond her years. Obviously, she's got to have a manager or something like that, somebody who's guiding the way, but somebody who has the best interest in mind for her as well, because that's just a crazy good decision. Because again, just the tax write-off benefits included, like obviously it's not all entirely philanthropic, but at least she's doing something good with the inherent benefit that comes alongside this, okay? To create the bad scholarship, hopefully it's not for spelling, okay? But Anyways, the $1.7 million scholarship will help 1,000 students. That's kind of legit as well. Because again, trade school is just a fraction and then also has a much higher upside than a whole bunch of those other stupid BAs and BSs that you can get. Bachelor of Arts, Bachelor of Science, okay? I'm not just shitting on the university system. But this is, yeah, this is super based. Oh, uh, with those awards uh, awarded, the BAD scholarship having the opportunity to pursue careers in various trades, ranging from cosmetology to cybersecurity to the business of cannabis. Hey, man, those are booming industries. And again, my personal biases aside, like lash technicians, and they're just kind of fucking... That's a red flag as well. Cybersecurity does pretty base, and there's going to be a much bigger demand for that as well. And then the business of cannabis. Like, okay, come on. I've made my position when it comes to pot very, very, very clear, and I need not repeat it for the sake of brevity on the subject, but if business is booming, you got to take advantage of that, okay? There's, a, there's always going to be a marker for, or a market, sorry, for people who indulge in their own sedation. So capitalize it and market it while you can. I know there are a lot of kids. She's saying this, uh, that are out there that really want to get real jobs and want to work hard, but they just don't have the money to provide it. She tells Yahoo Life of why she's excited by the scholarship opportunity. I thought it was an amazing idea. It is. Oh, this, this is a whack fucking timeline. Each bad scholarship recipient will receive $1,000 towards their trade school education and 50 graduates will receive $10,000 in startup capital to help launch their own business upon graduation. This so incentivized to get through trade... It's a great fucking plan. Additionally, Brajoli will handpick graduates to receive their full ride scholarships from a $200,000 fund. We are incredibly grateful for our partnership with Bad Baby. Could you, ima <laughs> Could you imagine working your entire life and then realizing that there's some bitch just going to show up and go, What up, bitches? I got some money for y'all. Can we make a fucking deal? And then having to write down in your press release, a partnership with Bad Baby. Again, this is so bizarre. It's terrific. Whew. Anyways, uh, that allows us to continue our mission to eliminate poverty through trade school education. Yeah, something that's actually useful. Instead of just dumping this into, hi, I'm trying to start a scholarship for gender studies degree because when I was a young girl, I was so mistreated and I don't want other young women. It's like, blah, blah, blah. She's like, not trade school. It doesn't even matter that I ain't got my GED. Okay, I'm a rapper. I sell vague illusions of my cooch on the internet for millions of dollars. And here, I just want to help some folks get a fucking leg up. I'm like, terrific. Well, she's getting a leg up. These guys are getting a leg up. It's terrific. Uh, said Dr. Branita Mitchell, founder of the EduCapital Foundation, in a press release for the scholarship. I've seen firsthand the role education plays in opening the doors and building wealth and creating successful, oh, successful career opportunities. By removing financial barriers, the bad scholarship will help students spend more time focusing on their studies and help them achieve their like lifelong dreams. Brajoli's interest in trade school is partially inspired by her own passion for cosmetology. Yeah, we've seen it. Uh, had things gone differently, she said she could see herself pursuing a career as a nail technician. Of course, they're all nail technicians, right? Uh, she hopes to pursue, uh, pursue opportunities within the beauty space in addition to continue her music career. I want to get into owning more businesses. Yeah, exactly. 
Isn't it wild to think? Because again, uh, when it comes to cosmetology businesses, okay, their own skincare cream line, makeup line, okay, the Kardashians automatically come to mind, unfortunately, too. But she's actually doing more, she's making more dignified moves than Kim specifically has ever made. Like, as far as everybody knows, okay, there's no videos of Berjoli taking black dick out there being pimped around by her mother. Just saying. I want to own a nail salon. You can own a chain of nail salons. You can start a chain of nail salons. I want to hopefully end up having it become a franchise and putting them in multiple different areas. She's smart, okay? I don't, somebody's obviously guiding her, but she's picking up on this shit. I don't, fuck, I don't mind this at all whatsoever. As for what it takes to be a young hustler, Brajoli has some advice for others seeking their own path to success. Please don't undo all of this praise right now. It takes hard work, effort, and a strong mind, because if you don't have a strong mind, you aren't going to get very far. Thank God. Dude, that's just good advice. I never, ever, 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 ever thought that I would be saying, bad baby, Danielle Brajoli, the cash me outside girl, is a quality role model out there. But 2022 is definitely the year of firsts. Definitely the year of things that you would never see, think, would ever come to fruition, but... This is just another one in a long list of crazy shit and the year's not even over yet. So with all that said, thank you all very much for the gift of your time. I've been Don Consuelo. I want you to follow your gut and get after it. Take care, everyone.